everybody welcome back to fable plays monster train it's a new day we're starting from the main menu you hit the start game you know some would say not me but some would say that we've been having some rough runs but you know what i think it's just a learning curve dude honestly if we were to compare like monster train progression to slay the spire progression i'm like way ahead i still want a hellhorn win so i was told you know my good friend in the comments john Blees. thank you for all the help I think he recommended Hellhorned Umbra, and also told me that morsels work on everything, not just Umbra units. It's just that Gorge gives you a bonus effect. So, I mean, like, maybe we can make something work. Okay, March of Shield is good. Cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. is probably the most annoying one. Debuffs effects are greatly... are generally negative for their targets and are represented by red icons thank you for telling me what a buff and a debuff is seraph will remove half of any buffs and debuff effect stacks okay so that's like really not good so maybe we want to go with a spell based deck but i mean we're basically dealing with two clans that just do non-stop damage so vent making of a morsel is nice and march of shields okay so we have a little bit of armor a little bit of morsel making when you summon a unit the second unit during a turn gains when you summon the second unit during a turn, gain three energy. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I don't know why it is my brain is just refusing to work right now. When you play your third card on the turn, draw two. Well, this is actually really good for us, is it not? Hell's Banner will, I mean, morsels count as units. So, I mean, I think you want to take it. And I, maybe we should start playing, like, a different game here when it comes to our boy. Like, Wrathful should be what we get. Armor gain, revenge. Makes him a, a pseudo-tank. Not good, but a pseudo tank. And really, dude, I think I know why we're losing, you know? We're trying, first of all, always go for that. I don't care if it's plus 10 armor or whatever. Even if they do get to the pyre, they're not going to be able to do anything substantial to get it down there. But I think I'm realizing why we're losing. I mean, well, first of all, I'm bad. Like, straight up. And, and that's not even me being like, oh, boo-hoo, look at my poor baby. Hold on, march of shields. Make a morsel. Play you, which should trigger... Yes, it does trigger Hell's Banner. Okay, so now we could go down here. We could pop this, do some decent damage all around. Dude, and we're good to go. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I realized, like, what it is, basically, that's that's causing us issues. And it might not be what you think it is. But I think, like, honestly, it's the fact that, yeah, you get eaten. So we can play one more unit for more energy. Basically, we have, like, a high energy deck. But this is going to be really annoying getting kills here. Um... It's that we're building up, like, a win condition when really what we should be doing is making a good deck. Like, straight up. That's what it comes down to. We should just be, like, trying to make a good deck and instead of, like, trying to, you know, instead of just trying to make, like, a good condition for us. Get eaten. This is going well. We have three energy, which we might as well pop here. Okay, it's going well. So that, that's basically what we're going to try to do. I'm not going to try to make like, oh, we have like a one Gucci floor and like now because of it we're unkillable gods. I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to, you know, have every floor be a Gucci floor and then we're like basically unkillable. 25. You should do this. It's going to make it a little bit easier for you. I mean, you're still going to get up to the pyre, but like whatever. Okay, okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Now all we have to do is wait for this to bang out of control, and like hopefully it does. But like honestly, you not dying here is is causing issues for me. So we might as well get our free energy. I mean, do we use you as a shield? Let's use you as a shield. And yeah, I was gonna say that should kill you. So like this is pretty good. Why did you not play the card that deals damage to the pyre? Little mistakes like that are exactly what's going to cause issues for us, like, really quickly. So we just got to get over it, get through it. Okay, consume double the amount of rage. That seems pretty good with our champion. Because he gets range as... Or he gets rage for revenge, so every time he gets hit. But also, like, an imp unit. Like, do you want to do an imp morsel deck, which is kind of bad, but also maybe not at the same time? For three energy, we don't really have an energy issue. Give me the Welder Helper in the Summer Swelter. The birds flew off in a full-off shelter. Deal through damage, slay. Add two uncommon or rare morsel units to your hand. But applying a damage shield, though, could be good. I mean, we could easily upgrade this card. 
And basically, it becomes a free cost card. Yo, Consumer of Crowns. Cost minus three energy per imp unit in play. I think we take it. That's like a monster unit. I haven't been able to play him yet, and I think we just recently unlocked him too, so... I'm kind of down with it. So we're good for money. I think getting a good Umber unit in our deck would be nice. Okay, if... He, here's my thinking. Yes, you're good. But if the Overgorger shows up early, you take him. If he shows up early, you have the whole run for him to become a god. You take him. Now what do we want to do? I mean, so this is like the dangerous part of it. Because like, honestly, we should give you multi-strike. Straight up. You're 200 damage a hit. That's good. Okay. <coughs> do we want to turn you into a 65-200? I mean, it's not bad. There's no point in giving you any buffs. And, and so you know what? Let's give him a little bit more HP. Because we know he's just going to become a god. And like, you want to like buff up a train steward. Honestly, I don't want to buff up a train steward. I really just want to get my hands on more imps. And then uh, summon all these boys pretty easily. That's like what I want to do. At the beginning, at the start of battle, enemy units appear on each floor. You got 25 armor. But you don't attack. You know what? This isn't so bad. Let's do it. I'm not a coward. Basically, like, the shield boys don't deal damage anyway, so I don't care if they make it up to the pyre floor. Okay. These ones, on the other hand, I do care if you make it up to the pyre floor. You're doing five damage each, huh? Well, you hate to see it, but it kind of has to be done. Two... We actually do get... You're doing 20 damage. Ooh, it's... It's a rough one, baby. But you also have, uh, you enchant with spikes, I see. There's no point in playing the Overgorger. Especially here where we won't be able to get any morsels. So you might as well, like, make this a little bit easier. You're gonna get some nice revenge going up, which is good to see. The Pyre's gonna take damage, but I mean, that's pretty much how we're dealing with everything on this floor. So, yes, you need to get played here. You're getting buffed up, good to see. We can play our morsel. Get some free energy. And you know what? You might as well double down on it. You're down to seven. Not good, but you might as well start working on you. And honestly, dude, this is pretty decent. We're not going to be able to get the Collector, but... What do I care about the Collector, dude? Okay, okay. Brief Respite is, in fact, up. Add a Morsel Miner to your hand. Vent. Dude, I'm, like, honestly, like, I'm so okay with, like, pretty much how this deck is being constructed. It's not good, but the absurd amount of energy that we're able to create is, like, really good. So, in a way... We don't want any more damage to the Pyre. Even though it's one damage, I think it's still worth doing that. Yeah. I know, I know. But still, I think it's good. Deal three damage, kill you. Look at that, baby. Welcome to the freaking club. All right. Chonk up. Chonk up. Very good to see. One of these people have sweep. No, you have the spikes, which I am not a fan of. So let's just get rid of that. We still have five energy, which is, like, great. Might as well add a morsel miner to the hand. I'm sure. Beef up the boys. Start damaging you. Might as well throw you down there. Might as well, dude. Okay. So it's not a bad deck, dude. I think, like, we're, we're doing everything we need to do in order to survive. I want you in the front. I know that's stupid, but, like, it's kind of like your whole basic function right now is to be a tank. And it's dangerous, but it is what it is. Sorry. It is what it is, baby. Okay. Okay. Are you dying? You're dying. Perfect. It's not a good turn for us because we really, like, if the Overgorger does not get Overgorged, there's no point in having him. He's just a dead card and he's useless to us. And I really don't want to have, like, too many more useless cards in my hand, baby. But imps are good. I will take Apply Rage for units. That is very nice to see. More capacity on the floor is good. Deal three times damage to the enemy unit. But if you slay, you get two energy. Do we need more energy-based cards? You know what? Like, straight up. This isn't a bad one. I will take Mind Collapse. Because it has a benefit. But also, like, now that we have Imps in our deck, we could actually, like, maybe play the big boy. So what do you want to do here? Duplicate any card except your champion? Well, I hate saying it, but, like, I'm looking at this. And even though I do need Pyre Health, we're not going to go for Pyre Health. I think you want the Branded Warrior, who's a solid unit. And then you go in here, and you duplicate this dude. So now you have two of them. Is that good? No. <laughs> 
It's not good, but oh no! Man, if only you were like kind of chonked up. Dude, this is a. It's a dangerous one. Like, you know I'm thinking about dupe, like getting seven of these dudes, but like I think that's a that's not a smart thing to do. I honestly think, and you're gonna like this is this is dumb and it's not smart, but like I think you get a whole bunch of rage imps. I think you do. They're gonna pay for themselves with the Hell's Banner, and it means that we could play our big boys. And since there's so many of them, like yes, I know, dude, it's 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 dangerous, it's chonky, it's so risky, and I am like I'm a little concerned about it. But I mean, you know what? It is what it is at this point. I think we're kind of locked into like a, a pseudo morsel imp deck here, and then relying on like these guys as being like our bread and butter. And of course, they're showing up like right away, which is just like horrendous for me. But yeah, you know what? Hey, man, this is the world. What are you? You have a damage shield. It's really annoying, and I do not like it. But you know, whatever. Morsel miner to the hand. Welcome, baby. Start eating. And I swear, we're going to get these boys out on the field if it's the last thing I do. And at this point, it might very well be the last thing that we do. Okay, good. Rage against the imps. Good to have. This is a, Dude, this deck is like, it's getting wild, baby. You're dying. There's really nothing I can do about that. But you don't have to be dead. I don't have any mana. I'm not happy with this deck. This deck is like way off the rails. And it's bad. Okay, we got to like actually start using you. And as much as I hate to say it, but you have to be used, like, pretty much, like, immediately. So let's go ahead. Let's get our boon. Let's get the Morsel Master going in there. If we could set up, like, a feeding line, that would honestly be amazing. Absolutely, 100%. Do I want to move you to the front? The answer is no. I think we're better off giving you a little bit of chonkiness. Yeah. Now, remember, these imps are only, like, useful to us if they're actually on the field. So, like, maybe we should actually use them as they are intended and don't do anything stupid deal three damage if you kill which you will we're gonna add more morsels it's very important to get this dude like chonked up like straight up it's the most important thing in the world right now i don't want to put a train steward down there to die i still have some res respect for the train stewards it's not a lot and it's 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 waning every single day but you're really just gonna, like, not give me anything good, huh? Alright, well, here's another imp. Really don't wanna, like... Really don't wanna deal with this. Three times two, you get two energy if you kill. I mean, you will, in fact, kill. Alright, I'm dumb. Ignore me, because apparently it, it doesn't hit multiple times. Yes, I understand my mistake. Uh, oopsie daisy. <laughs> Oh, dude, the pyre is getting whittled down. Okay, Daedalus, final turn. Once again, are you kidding me? My big chonky boys aren't actually here to, like, chonk me? I'm very upset about this. Like, I'm actually very upset about how this worked out. We want you to gain damage. So I don't care if you gain energy. Sure, a damage shield is actually decent for us. <clears throat> what do you want to do? Like, slow him down a little bit? I don't really think there's must much of a point here for that. I think you gotta vent up here, honestly. Yeah. You're still getting through, but at least you're not losing anything. Alright. Let him eat. Remember, the Gorger, it's an investment, dude. The Gorger is an investment, and right now the investment is it's not really necessarily paying off, but okay, there we go. We don't have enough capacity to play <laughs> ah! Alright, well, how do you how do you do this, huh? Do we need like a we need imp management or capacity on the floor is also good too. I'm looking, dude. I'm working it out. Don't worry. You're you're taking damage. You're gonna do nine damage to you. It's not really like worth it. I mean, we should get rid of you. Get our energy back. I mean, like, it's better that you get the hit, and then since we can't feed him this turn, we might as well rage up. These guys are free. Okay, if we could work out this small, like, kink in our plan here, I think we're fine. It's just a matter of getting them out. You're only doing 80 damage. I really do not like that. But what if we, like, march you to the front? 
You now you're taking 173. That's better. That is better. This isn't gonna do anything. Yeah, okay, so we might have made like a few mistakes along the way. Dude, you know what? It's it's a spicy deck. It's a spicy deck. We shouldn't die to Daedalus. Alright, we've died to Daedalus. You know what? No. No. No, 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 no. I don't no 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 stop this, stop this, stop this. New run. We're 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 going in again. I'm not gonna hit you with like a salty Chilean sea bass friggin' salt covered horrible 15 minute hell horned umbra run. We were we were so close to greatness. It's just that I we gotta play smart. Okay, rage is good, consume is good, and ascending is also really good. We can overpower a level. Let's go. Give me a good artifact. Friendly units enter with rage when a card is consumed. Pi, uh, with a card with consumed is played, restore five pyre. Give me the freaking rage artifact. Who are we fighting? Devour my spells. Eat them up, baby. Multi strike or or slay. I still like, like, I genuinely do not understand why you would take multi strike over slay. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Would you rather do 12 damage or would you rather start with 18 and then gain 10 every time you kill something? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe I'm dumb, but who knows, man? You know what? It's a wild card. We're going. We're going. Give me the gold. Let's go. Come on. Okay, from now on, monster train speed run. I need a win. I would like to clear this ascension. Non-boss, start with spikes. That's actually really bad now that I think about it for a couple seconds. But this is fine. You guys come in with rage, which is not what I like to see, but we're going to pop you up here. You're doing 24. That's pretty solid. Get the morsels out. Feed my son with whatever he desires, and apply a whole bunch of rage, dude. And now, it's, now I know the damage shield is actually going to be a huge problem, but this is actually great for us. So I think what you want to do here is you put a boy up here. We could, like, ascend one of you. Like, I mean, it's not the best thing for us. You can do three damage per hit. That's 12 damage just from all of you being here. This is actually, like, a huge problem. <laughs> It's actually, like, really bad, dude. Yeah. Hold on. This is, like, stupid bad. All right. So, like, we, we you just, you, you, you gotta go. You gotta go. We gotta torch these things down. We've made mistakes already, but this is fine, too. You might as well eat. We might as well put you down here and, like, feed you a little bit now that I'm looking at it. And there's no point in putting, like, a boy up here because he's just going to get, like, eviscerated by the spikes. It's dangerous. But it is what it is. Alright, that's good. Yeah, hit me with the early pyre damage already. You're not dying. You're taking, like, quite a bit of damage. That damage shield is massive. I hate doing this. But I think you gotta do what you have to do up here to avoid, like, anyone taking damage. And somehow you're actually gaining HP, which is great. Okay, next thing, you gotta get rid of these boys sooner rather than later. Play your Contrition. It's coming up to you, and I, I'm not a huge fan of those odds, considering, like, how little HP you have. So you know what, dude? Play a little bit of a human meat shield, and this should be enough. It is enough, thank God. And just because I like messing with things that I don't, that we don't... Oh, why do I miss the Contritions? Dude, we're doing this. I don't care what happens. Lots of money. Ascending a unit is also really good. You know what? Yeah, let's let's take the Ascend cards. Capacity on the floor is good. Add a Morsel Miner to your hand. It's it's too expensive to make use. Deal three damage and slay. You know what? Give me the making of a Morsel. Until we get our hands on like an Umber unit and ideally the Overgorger. It is what it is. And you know what, dude? I'm going to put my money on it. Let's get him. Okay. Gain Lifesteal. Gain Damage Shield. That seems pretty good. <coughs> Nullify nullifying the next source of damage. When a unit with lifesteal attacks, it restores health equal to the damage unit. I mean, this is, like, pretty good, too. I don't know which one would you want. Would you want somebody who can't get hit? Or would you want somebody who, like, just can't die because he has too much HP? I could see this guy becoming, like, a massive wall, especially if we could get, like, a feeding train set up, which isn't necessarily a hard thing to do, so I'm kind of okay with that. All right. Now we turn him into a, a 40 hitting unit, with which is pretty good. <laughs> Giving him a damage shield 2 to start might actually be a good thing to do, now that I think about it, but... I don't know, 25 
50-20 or or is pretty decent, too. But that's all he gets. You know what? Let's do it. Let's give him that. I mean, we can make it like a train steward with like a, a damaging shield, but like, I don't care. We could also reroll for something, but also like, I don't want to waste my upgrades on a train steward. I just lost respect for them. Okay. Stay hydrated. You start with plus four attack. Six, and then you incant for one. That's not bad. I need it. We need units, dude. The early game is like, it's in, it's ridiculously important to actually get something to work out, man. And maybe I'm overthinking it too much, but like, it is what it is. All right. So. This is actually, this is fine. We set up our feeding line down here. Yeah, you're going to incant. Whatever, brother. I really don't care. And then you get up here. We need you to hit. Hmm. And, and straight up, I want to preserve this man's life. I don't want him getting hit. I want him to eat and be merry. And yo, this is great. So pack the morsels. And also, now, as long as we can actually, like, deal this uh, in a proper way, you might as well get up here so you could deal with that. Um, we could build up immunity shields on him. And then by the time the boss comes in, you have, like, a, a massive wall ready to go. Yeah, like, this is actually going pretty well. So you get that. You don't really need anything up here because you're dealing with a healer, which is which is amazing for us. Yeah, and you're up to, like, 30. Dude, I think this is it. And then, you know, push comes to shove. We could, like, just pop you back. And, yeah, you're dead. Sweet. Let's just get rid of these guys because I'm petty. Good. Okay, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We have, we have a start. I'm not going to say we have something good, but we have a start. I think armor is too important here. We're, we're ignoring, like, armor. Apply three lifesteal and ember drain two. No, can't take it. Packed morsels for free, and then it's just more upgrades we always take. When you summon a morsel unit on this floor, create a copy. Yeah, I think you take the morsel master. I think you take the morsel master and you set up a feeding floor. Now, we still need, like, a decent tank above what we have. Now, but do you duplicate? Ooh, baby. I would like a re I would like a relic. What do you get from here? You could duplicate a demon fiend. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just a 50-50 unit. We technically have better. Give me a horned warrior. I know I said that we need a tank and I immediately take more DPS, but hold on. This is it's it's important for me to work this out. And here I'm okay with spending money. Whatever it is, yo, start with five armor on enemy units. That's actually pretty good. I'm happy for that, and, and I think we spent like $50 on that, so like that's a solid investment. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Keep it up. Keep going. Be happy. Now, do you want to duplicate anything? I mean, I don't think we want to duplicate more of our packed morsels. If anything, we would want to duplicate this dude. He is our best unit by far, like above and beyond by far. And, I, and there is work that can be done. Okay. Constructed, explosive, explode twice. Really don't like how these things do 20 damage. But. I mean, if our plan works, it doesn't matter how much damage they're doing because we are a god. Okay, so the Morsel Master is, like, pretty good. Where do you want to set him up? That's, that's the question. I think you don't set him up there. I mean, you love to get him on the first floor, but... First floor Daedalus is like, it's too dangerous, dude. And also, yes, we do need capacity. I guess you just make like a, a super feeding line here. For like your big boy up here. It's not the best situation, but I mean, it, it is a situation that we can in fact deal with. So here's a stupid question. Since we have so many, you don't get played, right? Like, you just get shuffled in? Okay, so now we have more morsel units in our hand. It's not the best thing for us, I'm realizing, and I understand that, but at the same time. Okay, you gotta go before we do anything. What if we, like, Crucible Ward in here? He gets Rage and he gets Armor. This is actually pretty decent for us. So, yes, this is, this is good. Now, you might be saying, why don't you, like, I don't know, put down a boy here and ascend him? We could, but we actually, like, do want to feed our champion a bit. Because his armor is, like, very low, and it is, like, it's not good, dude. So this is going well. How long can we allow it to go well? Well, that's the question, huh? And, and by the looks of it, not that long. 
I think you just get another one ready behind him. He's not dying, but he will be dying at some point. And there's no point in playing this just for him to die, but you, you know what? You have some train stewards. I really don't care about them, and honestly, we should probably be removing them from the deck at some point, but yeah, you can have the train stewards. Please stop with this. Thank God we have you. You're amazing. I love you. You're doing a great job, sweetie. So what do you do here? I mean, you feed. Because you're not dead this turn, which is great. And then you might as well, like, honestly give him some more attack. So that'll be double, which is really nice. I'm not a huge fan of this taking, like, you know, capacity. It's... I, I, I get it. I'm just not a fan of it. You know what? You're getting out of there, brother. It's gonna screw up this floor completely, but... It is what it is. It is what it is, dude. I'm realizing in Monster Train, the secret is not to kill the enemies, but it's to survive for as long as possible. So this is not what I like to see. Not at all, honestly. I didn't mean to Dr. Seuss there for a moment, but it is what it is. At a Morsel Miner, Morsel Miners are absolutely worth, like, the price of admission and the doubling cost, too. Like, it's, it's good, dude. I'm not a huge fan of... No, everyone's dying. We're good. We're good, dude. The Morsel Miners attack and then get eaten. How do you not realize the things that you do not realize, dude? Alright, this he's he's becoming Chonk. He's becoming very Chonk. And I think we're good. Okay, so already we've kind of, you know, we put together a better run than what we had before. Assuming we don't die, which is still a very... No, you're dying on this floor. Screw it. Goodbye. Easy. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Daedalus. Thank you. Uh, we do need the capacity. Energy is not really a problem right now. Alloy of the Ancients is really nice. 25 armor, we need that. <coughs> Excuse me. Rage on friendly units adds an additional plus two per stack. I wonder if this, like, works with our Scorching Remnants. And if that's the case, I think we take him. And now we're, like, we're, we gotta, like, we have to stop, I understand, taking units that are, like, kind of good, but also, like, very weak. But, I mean, if we could duplicate our boys, I mean, it's not the worst thing for us. And I think at this point, you get an Umber unit. You hope for a wall. Damage shield. You know what? Honestly, I, I think you, you don't take anything there, which I know might be a bad idea, but we, we got to start, like, cutting the, the, the detritus out of this. So goodbye, train stewards. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, like, 26 cards in our deck is, like, 25 is, like, it's perfect. So we can remove consume and make you cost two. That's, like, pretty decent. I'm okay with that. And, and, like, more importantly, we could remove Consume, make you cost two, and then, like, also straight up just make you cost one. Which isn't the best, but, I mean, it's something. And then we can make, like, we can make a Super Torch. I kind of want to reroll and hope for something better. Double Stack would have been nice. Right, we only have Torches left. No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a genius. Okay. Okay. I understand we're not using our Ascends. I mean, a one-cost Morsel Miner is pretty good, dude. And then straight up, I think you just purge another Train Steward. And you, you be happy with your life. All right, Champion's getting his upgrade. Thank God. Slay plus 20 is, is decent. But his HP is scaring me. But it's okay. Because we're going to find another Crystalline Cavern where we could throw in our uh, plus 25 armor card. And then we could duplicate it five times and we're gods. I think at this point you stop taking the challenges. And it's not because I'm a coward. It's because I'm a smart man who understands his capabilities. Alright, well here you gotta do this. I hate saying it, but you gotta. <coughs> yeah, I think this is good. And then also if we need to, we could like just ascend them out of here. But I mean, I paid for all this extra like... Yeah, I paid for this capacity, dude. Give me the capacity! Let's go! So we cannot feed here. Which is fine. Straight up. So what do you do? Because I'm a coward, I think you make like a super winner soldier. Why are you not dying? Okay, it's was it worth it? No, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, this is this is actually really good. And you're still alive up here, which is nice, because I could like just pop you, and then we pop you. Which is decent. And now we could just like play something good here. There you go, you get a double. You might as well put you here. You get to eat. 
you get to eat. Okay, we've, we've built out a really good set of floors. And I was gonna say, I'm not expecting things to get through, but if things do get through, they're probably like not gonna get through by that much. Yo, that's good. We could overstack this floor with the morsels, which is probably something that you should have expected, really. Dude, I'm, I'm totally okay with this. It's not good, but it's like, it is what it is. And we can like ascend you and daze you. So now we're not dealing, or now we're, we're taking damage, but it's minimal. Yeah, this is good. This is very good. You might as well get some rage on you. You're now a monster. You might as well like double you up even more. You got seven damage shields on you? I mean, not for nothing, but I think we're okay. What if I just give you a whole bunch of armor? Yo, you're dying. Okay, okay. We've seen this before, though. We've seen it in the past. Oh, that's pretty good. I think you take the battering ram. And then we work on trying to get it cheaper. Giving our unit trample is really good. Can you cannibalize a morsel? So you, you summon a morsel, it gets doubled by the morsel master, you cannibalize it, you get three more uncommon or rare morsels. I think it's worth taking just to try it out and see if there is a potential synergy there. I think that's pretty worth it in my opinion. But I mean, what do I know? And HP's looking good, dude. Yeah. All right, let's see if we could upgrade some units. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm feeling confident. I'm giving somebody quick is like pretty massive. Unfortunately, we don't really have anything like good in our deck. And I mean that with love, but like, we could turn you into like a decent boy. I think we turn you into like a decent boy with quick, but even that's like, it's not that good, you know? Like we might be better off purging a card, but Like, we don't care about you, because you're literally behind an immortal god. Let's keep you alive a little bit longer so we could get the whole rage benefit from it. I think that's good. And, like, let me, just let me yote something into the hole. Oh, you're not letting me yote into the hole, baby. Trapdoor, descend, ascend to pyre, and apply three days. I think that's that's good to kill an enemy and not have to worry about it. Because our pyre is going to do 90 damage for free. That's a pretty good card. Okay. And now we select and remove. What do you want to get rid of? Well, you know. <laughs> and dude, honestly, like, this is looking... It's looking solid. I think you get rid of a fireball. I'm sorry, a torch. Whatever. Same thing. You get rid of one of those. You're down to, like, a good amount of, of cards in the deck. And I absolutely hate you. But we hard counter you if we get it set up. Not doing the challenge on this one. I don't care about $150. My runs have ended numerous times against this man and his kind. But not today. This is what you love to see. Love to see it. Love to see it. And you know what? What are you doing? You're doing two. You're doing five. It's risky, but no, but remember, you get the rage, you get the armor, so it's not all bad. Okay, 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 okay. Yo, straight up, just like, goodbye. You're dying, good to see. Honestly, I think that's, that's why you want to use them, dude. And a Crucible Warden, like, I think you want to play you here. You definitely need some armor, and I guess you save you. Because it's only a matter of time before we actually have the power to actually, like, you know, start balling out of control. Horned Warrior for four, like, 30 damage for four is, it's, it, it is good. It is good. And it means that we now no longer have the power to care about this man. And I'm kind of okay with that. I'm kind of okay with that. It's, it's, it's dangerous, don't get me wrong. We're playing a dangerous game, but, like, you have to survive. Now you get the Packed Morsels. Morsel Miner is what you love to see. A little bit of extra damage is what you love to see. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I guess we want to try this, right? You can cannibalize a morsel. For more morsels. Is it good? I mean, no, but like we're going to have a whole bunch of morsels in our hand right now. And you might as well add a Morsel Miner to the hand, even though you can't play it. I still think this is like I still think this is like a decent thing to do. So you're gonna get like super gorged. 
And now we have a whole bunch of extra that we could just play for free too and like just get you more and more. Which is like pretty decent. You're gonna do 96 damage, huh? You got six stacks. That's good. Yeah, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Alright, so how do you want to do this? I'm taking 11 damage. It's, it's risky. Don't get me wrong, dude. We know the boss is coming in. It's not smart, but like, I think we do that. Now you're only taking five. You're good. You're good. Okay. So it's it's dangerous. What do you do? Well, I mean, honestly, I think you make like a morsel floor. Let her just like waste all of her stealths on the morsels. Yeah. Because like, why not, right? She's down to four stealth. I think we've, we're handling this well, and look at that. You're actually taking damage on this floor. What a day to be alive. So yeah, you might have stealth, but I have like literal invincibility. And you know what? Check this. Skirt. Have fun. There you go. <laughs> Killing this boss makes me feel really good. Even if this ends up being a loss, like, it doesn't really matter, dude. It doesn't matter in the slightest. Okay, okay, dude. What do you want? 100 damage to friendly and enemy units. We don't really need energy. Like, I think you say no. Unless it works with the deck, you don't take it. Apply damage shield 3. But Ember Drain is just, it's too, it's such a bad card. But I think the Ember Catch is worth it. I know I said we don't need energy, but I mean, like, what? Do you, it's free energy. What do you want? Are you going to say no to free energy? What are you, a coward? No, I don't think so. Not in today's society. Artifact floor and money. But also concealed caverns, though. I think, you know what? Let's play safe. Heal up to full. Give me some money. Let's get some good artifacts. Two damage whenever an enemy unit moves between floors doesn't do anything. Friendly units gain plus two on kill. It's so good. I'll take it, dude. And do you want to remove something from the deck? I think you want to remove another torch. Yeah. Merchant cost costing less. It could have been good, but I think it's too late in the game at this point, and we're pretty much set on what it is that we want. So, like, I don't see a point. Fell. All right, it's time to test it out, dude. Also, we're making, like, great time. Basically, we made it to Fell in, like, 20 minutes. That's pretty good. Okay, you'll love to see this. But I'm like, maybe you don't want to have this on the first floor. Like, I think this is a good second floor setup. I really do. You're doing way too much damage for me to actually, like, want to use this. So you guys get to be the third floor. Congratulations. And they get plus two on every kill, which is going to be, like, really helpful. You're in a bad situation, but it'll be fine. Thank you for the ember. You're doing 20 damage. 30? Oh my god. Okay, well, this floor is just this floor is just way too dangerous. To the point where I think you get the armor, and you know what? We're here, so you might as well. There's no point in playing you, because you're just going to die, dude. But clearing out the Alabaster Angels, like, right away, is a pretty good sign that things are okay. So we, we need you to, like, start getting some shields. Yeah, like, right away. We might have made a huge mistake. So what do you do? You have 80. We use this. You're going to get 90. You're fine. Okay, good. You're dead. Does that change anything down here? Not really. You're doing 16 damage each. Oh, my God. Dude, this is... Okay, it's, it's immediately spicy. Well, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be, and I understand that. You know why? Because all we have to do is be smart. Be smart in how we do this. But I think you put a Morsel Miner back here. Which will leave us one capacity. And then you put a boy in front. In, in front. Which will summon two to act as a shield. And I'm a genius. Okay, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's, you know what? It's, it's that kind of thinking, dude. Just because it's a Morsel doesn't mean it can't be a friend too. You're just taking damage, which is great to see. All right, yeah, and here we could just like kind of do the same thing. I think you getting more is always good. You getting more is always good. You're not taking any damage, which is amazing. We could just torch you, and I think that's how you want to deal with that. 
Buffing your armor, I think, in the end game is going to help us a little bit more. Do we want more capacity after this? I think we do. <coughs> and you know what? Straight up, I hate doing this. But I think, nah, let's not cannibalize. Let's not mess with it, you know? But I will just do that and get a morsel. Like, that. that's just, like, straight cash money. Okay. How we looking? How we looking? You're taking damage? That's fine. You have enrage is like a you should play it on you dude it's fine it's fine it's fine give me some more morsels baby you're taking five damage not a huge fan of that so you know what now you're healing now you're healing even more 120 dude it's dude it's 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 spicy but it's spicy in like the good way you know it's like a nice like a number five at like all stars it's not crazy but it'll get you going it's free ember it's free real estate we have some units thank you and I think it's smart. You have four, like, nah, you're good. I'm like, let's give him armor, but, like, why? So, unfortunately, if we were to, like, if this dude wasn't here, we could do some good damage against the boss. It's not great. What if we, like, ascend? You can't be moved. Remember that. That's important to know. Let's ascend. Nah, you got 95. But you would get applies days, too. I think this is fine, dude. Yeah, I'm okay with this. And then we could also ascend a unit. Like, if we were to, like, just bring you up a floor, it doesn't change anything, and basically it just gets rid of more detritus. Alright, I wasn't expecting you to get up to the pyre. I might have been playing a little bit too fast and furious, but this is fine, too. You killed my Morsel Master. I'm not happy about that, like, at all. You got four shields? I mean, we kind of have to do this, unfortunately. I'm, I'm okay with it. You're healing. You deserve the armor. And there's no point in playing you, because you're just going to die. I'm, I'm, I'm still okay with this. Final wave, we're, we're, we're banging, dude. Morsel Miner is an absolute must play. Let's get this. Cannibalize him. We're going to get a whole bunch more, and we could actually play all three. The Morsel Miner is huge. That's massive. We're massive. We are an unstoppable force. Okay. Are you dying? You're not dying, but you're, you're pretty much going to be wishing you were dead, baby. All right. Summon, summon, summon. How do you want to do this? Oh, I guess, like, really the smart thing is just play this in front. Yeah. We didn't even need our damage dealing floor. The damage shield is its too good. It's too good. Okay, don't get cocky. Don't get overconfident. Bad things could happen. Return consumed morsel units to your hand. That's, like... That's dangerous. Deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit, 30 times the amount of energy. <sighs> Trample's good. Let's take Wretch. We could do some good stuff with it. And honestly, straight up, we need more capacity. Like, what do you want? I'm not going to take more draw because, like, we don't have that issue. We don't have issues. We will never have issues. Hmm... Artifact, removal, and also upgrading spells. I think that's a good one. Gorge abilities trigger an additional time. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, let's upgrade our spells and make them better. Holdover is actually really good. What do you want to hold over? Like the battering ram, straight up. <coughs> Excuse me. But also, if we can like make it cheaper and holdover, but if we hold over, it doesn't matter what it costs, right? Like, really, it doesn't matter what it costs. I think that's what you want to do, because now we can save it for, like, a high armor, like, area. And you being one energy is pretty good, but I do not care. So, yeah, let's make you cheap. Good. And then I guess that's it. Do we have anything you want to remove? Yes, get rid of the torch. Thank you. Okay. And I honestly, I like this deck. Everything has a purpose for the most part. I don't think we need to remove anything else. Yeah. Upgrade the champion. So now I'm looking at this and I'm like, like straight up, why would I not take Slay plus 40? 72 base attack plus Slay 40. Like that's just, it's disgustingly good. I'm not going to do the challenge for 400 gold. Yeah. Now, I know what I said. I, I know I keep saying to myself, you know, what, what happens is that we, we build up a gimmick and not a good deck. But, like, are you seeing this gimmick? Eight? You're doing 20 damage? You're doing 20 damage. That's, like, 
That's bad, dude. You're doing 20 damage each? Are you, like, actually out of your freaking mind? Well, we have to put you up here. Ascend a unit and apply daze too. Skip its next attack. I don't really want you to get up here faster, so... I mean... Yeah. I think what you do is, like, you, you, you gotta play this smart. Dude, they're doing like 48 damage. That's disgusting. What if I ascend you and daze you? Is that gonna do anything? Daze you for two turns. So you're not gonna attack, but you'll move up, and then you'll probably you, you will be killed by up here, which is like decent. It's it's risky. So already we've already found like a situation where things are getting bad for us. I'm not a huge fan of that. Do you like buff this dude up? I don't know, man. There's a morsel master. I think you gotta play these boys, unfortunately. Okay, okay, we, we, we could do this, we could do this. Don't get mind flooded, just because these units are disgusting and I hate them. Kinda, I hate saying it, but I kinda wish that I had, um... <laughs> kinda wish that I had, um... How do you wanna do this? I don't know how this works, straight up. But I guess we do, or I guess we're doing this now. You get a damage shield, brother. Well, it's... You know what? It's not good, but it is what it is. Okay, just just focus. I don't care if you escape. We basically can't afford for anything to die up here. And there's our holdover, which is good. You're doing 159 damage, you freaking coward. We don't care about you. To, you don't deal damage. Like, I hate saying this. 20, we really can't afford you to get up there. More so minor. Duplicate up. That's good. Now they're both dying. I straight up think you ascend one of those boys because they are disgusting. And now we have the battering ram. So, like, all we got to do is build up armor and, like, we're decent. We're good to go. We're happy. We're healthy. Um, this is scary and I do not like it. But it just shows me just how, you know, how deleterious everything is. Common morsel. If it's not good, what do you do? You play it down here. You cannibalize it. Give me something good, baby. Lifesteal is not bad, actually. Lifesteal is not bad. So what if I, like, just... What, what do you do? You just give me back everything, huh? That's not bad. You want to make a morsel floor? It's... Dude, this is... Okay, we're screwed. <laughs> I have never seen something, like, get so horrible so quickly. Ascend a unit. We could just, like, send one boy up. You're taking 22, dude. Where This is bad. Okay. So do we want to use a morsel as, like, a shield? I think we have to. Yeah, it doesn't really change anything for us, unfortunately. 12. What if we rage you up to 41? It changes things, but slightly. Dude, I'm 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 actually getting like very very scared. Like very scared. If this all gets like freaking tilted at the end, our deck is so fat. It's so fat. They're getting through, dude. They're going to do 40 damage to our pyre. And you're dying, which is way worse than anything, really. You're dying. There's I... Oh, my freaking balls. You're still... Ah. You're still dying. We're screwed. Yeah, we've lost. We've lost the game. Congratulations. That's it. You beat me. Good job. Really happy. Really proud. Straight up, nothing I can do. Oh, and the boss is here now? How generous of you. Alright, well, do we have, like, any way out of this? No, because you apply after combat. Yeah, we're, we're screwed. Well, well... It's not over yet. Basically, we ascend you. So, already this is better. You're gonna do 8 damage? Like, you gotta go, dude. But with this wall in front of us, it's, it's like, nothing's really gonna happen. So, like, what do you do? Like, ah. You wretch. It's so risky. No, there's nothing you could do. 
Like, you play that. Yeah, now at least you're dying, but you're still gonna get up there and murder us. Like, that's it. Like, I guess you, you hope to God that you could survive, but I think that's it, man. Ah. Oh. I'm actually- I'm getting upset about how badly everything falls apart at the last possible second. You know what, though? It's okay. I think we're gonna do some, like, randoms, but hey, Hellhorn's level 7, so look at that. Alpha Fiend. Oh, that would have been helpful. Strike plus 3. Yeah, dark deal. Deal 7 damage, apply 7. Deal 5 damage, apply 7 rage. Seriously? I'm upset. Hey, if you like the episode, hit the like Oh, Turtle Melon made it to 4. If you like the episode, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Of course, if you want to see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button, join the Fae Tribe. We're gonna get it. Soon. Let's keep going.